Hello and welcome everyone to Trek's newest road product introduction. I'm Ben Shear, the Director of Learning and Development, and we're very excited to introduce you to a first of its kind road bike here at Trek. The all new Domani Plus SLR is an electric road bike with an incredible ratio of lightweight design and high speed max assist. Here to further introduce us to this exciting new bike is Jordan Rusing, Director of Road Bikes. Jordan, welcome. Thank you for having me. So I gotta say, uh, I was told we were shooting a webinar about uh, an e-road bike, and I walked into the studio and I went, wait a second, that's not an e-bike. Yeah, I mean, new Domani Plus SLR for us is really the closest thing to a perfect e-road bike that we've uh, we've definitely ever created, but we believe is on the market today. Um, and part of that is definitely making it look uh, super hot and svelte. Um, and obviously you can tell the bike behind me is uh, executing that really well. Yeah, so what's the genesis of creating a bike like this? I mean, for us, it, uh, this, the foundation of it first was uh, not just creating something that's super compact visually, but also super lightweight and high speed. So the bike itself is about three pounds lighter than any other e-road bike we've ever put on the market, wow. which is just you know standing weight savings. Um, and it does that in a high speed package. So for uh, US markets, a 28 mile an hour experience. Um, and we're able to really execute that on the system that we're using. So it's a TQE system. It's a mid-motor drive. Um, it shares a system identically with the Fuel EXE. So it shares the same motor, same battery, same display as that bike has. Um, and for us, it was really the perfect e-system to be able to, again, deliver this awesome e-road experience. It's compact, it's lightweight, but it's a lot of other things too. It's super quiet, so you don't even really hear it when you're riding. It allows us to use a really narrow road cue factor, so the bike rides and feels really consistent with a non-electric bike. And again, just from a pure packaging perspective, it's super minimalist. And so that system is the foundation of being able to create this amazing e-road experience that we've never been able to do before. Yeah, that's incredible. Uh uh, and we built it into the Domani package. Yeah, and we just launched Domani SL and SLR, and this shares almost all the same features as the standard road bikes there. So we really think the Domani is a perfect chassis for developing this awesome e-road bike. It's just really sort of the combination of that TQ system and the Domani that really creates, again, what we deem to be the perfect e-road experience. Yeah, that's super exciting. Let's get into some of the details. Awesome. Who is this bike really designed for? Yeah, first and foremost, I think this is for existing riders that are really just looking for a little bit of extra assist. So whether you need that help to be able to ride in a group ride or ride with sort of your social circle or ride with your partner, and you want to be able to ride sort of at the same exertion level as the rest of the group, this bike provides the right amount of assist to be able to do that. Um, it also allows you to be able to ride a little bit further. So if you just want to get over that next mountain or do a bigger loop, that assist really allows you to sort of spread your wings and, and do a bigger ride than potentially what you'd be capable of. Uh, and then last thing for sort of riders that are looking for just a, a really high speed bike to be able to get from point A to point B as fast as possible. The fact that it's a 28 mile hour bike in the US and super lightweight and a drop bar configuration, I mean, it's super efficient and really fast. So again, if you're just trying to go as fast as possible to get to work, whatever, um, this is a great package to be able to do that as well. Yeah, and thinking about that performance rider, uh, I, I think there's been like some hesitancy to maybe get into e-bikes because they're, a little less discreet maybe, this yeah. maybe solves that. Yeah, for sure. And I, I think that's one of the awesome things about this package as a whole is A, just visually it's super discreet. It's a super compact uh, system, but it's also discreet in all the other ways. It's really super quiet. So just ambient wind noise is louder than the system as a whole. So no one in your group would even notice that there's an e-bike there. Um, it feels like a road bike. The combination of it being super lightweight, uh, low Q factor means that it rides like a standard road bike. And then again, it sort of looks like a normal road bike as we can see with this one. Um, and so for people that are sort of used to that high standard of what a performance road bike is, this still rides the same way. It's just adding a little boost on top of that. Yeah, and then for people who wanna go beyond maybe just a pure road experience, you get some versatility in it as well. Yeah, I mean, that's the cool part about the Domani platform on the whole is just the versatility behind that. And the e-bike actually has a little bit more tire clearance, so it goes up to 40 millimeters of tire clearance. And all of our SRAM spec bikes come with gravel tires on them. Our Shimano spec bikes come with a 32 millimeter road tire. And so the bike can sort of do anything in between gravel and performance road. And so you can ride it really however you wanna be able to ride or experience your road bike. All right, well, let's get into some of the details and the numbers behind the new bike. All right, let's start with weight. How lightweight is the new Damani Plus SLR? 
Uh, it's super lightweight. For us, it's about three pounds lighter than our lightest weight e-road bike we've ever made, which is pretty insane. Um, that's around 26 pounds, which obviously is just a super lightweight package. And to the rider, that really equates to just the bike feeling like a normal bike. Um, when you stand up, it feels regular. When you're going around corners, it feels like a regular road bike. Um, and so the benefit to the rider is just, again, it translates into this, this feeling like a standard road bike. Yeah, and then the assist speed? Uh, the assist speed is dependent on market. So for the U.S., it goes up to 28 miles an hour, which especially when you combine it with that weight, again, is just an awesome experience. So if you're going in fast group rides, the bike will assist you all the way up to 28 miles an hour and provide you that full power uh, range up to that speed threshold so that you can keep up with the group. In Europe, it's 25 kilometers an hour. And so for there, it's more assist for climbs, let's say. Um, but that's the other benefit of it being super lightweight and a super low friction e system is that even when it's not assisting you, it still feels like a high performance road bike. And then you get the boost on the climbs. And so depending on your market, the experience is a little bit different, but either way, it's awesome. So I'm just still blown away by just how svelte that package is. So how big of a battery is inside it? And then uh, what's the range like that we can expect out of the battery? Yeah, so the in tube battery on the bike is a 360 watt hour battery. So it is obviously packaged really efficiency because that is a pretty big battery for such a small volume. In addition to that, we also have an optional range extender that sits into your water bottle cage. And that's another 160 watt hour battery. One of the important things to, to know is sort of the way that we talk about ranges and averages. So if you're just looking at the in-tube battery in eco mode, the average rider should be able to get about 60 miles of total range. Um, you add onto that with the range extender, so you can get about 90 miles of range. Um, and one of the really cool things about the system is the fact that we have an app that allows you to be able to tailor the mode settings or the assist levels um, in each one of those three assist levels. And so if you have a bigger ride that you want to do that's say 70 miles and you don't have a range extender on it, you can actually tune down eco mode to assist you a little bit less, but give you that confidence that you'll be able to get all the way through your ride. Um, obviously range varies significantly by terrain and rider size and what your input to the system is. Um, but we've seen repeatedly that again, averages are about 60 miles in eco mode for the default settings for most riders and then 90 miles with that range extender. Awesome. Hi, I'm Brian Trani, product trainer here at Trek. Now let's welcome Tim Hartung, principal engineer at Trek and the new Domati Plus SLR's lead engineer to give us a deep dive into the bike's design. Tim, one of the things I love about this bike is what I don't see. And from the drive side, you can't even see the TQ motor. Yep, so TQ is HPR technology, that's short for harmonic pin ring technology. It really allows Trek design engineers and industrial designers to really focus on creating a bike that's looks really close to acoustic bikes, so it's a really big deal. And on the non-drive side, it's really stealthy as well. There's not much to see there. Right, yep, we spent a lot of time, especially on that side, to create a bike that looks really clean, super integrated. Um, yeah, it just creates an overall look that looks more like your traditional road bike that you'd wanna ride. And it's still a long range electronic bike, but the battery as well matches up with that small motor. I mean it just disappears into the design of the front. Right, yep, that's another huge benefit to the TQ system as well. Um, when you look at the size of the battery and we integrate that into this bike, it's only 9% taller than the Madone that we just launched. Um, so it's a really big deal. Lots of emphasis on creating a, a bike that looks to its traditional counterparts. Right, stealthy even. Right. Uh, once you get on the bike, looking down at the system and riding it, I think one thing that people are really going to appreciate is a very normal analog Q factor. Right, yep. So on this uh, particular bike, we're at 163 millimeters for a Q factor. So yeah, once again, it just gets um, customers closer to that uh, traditional feeling acoustic bike. Excellent. So Tim, the Domani Plus SLR is a great e-road bike and a lightweight e-road bike. How are you able to hit lightweight targets on a bike like this? Yeah, so there's two critical aspects that Trek took advantage of. Uh, the first being using Trek's premium carbon offering, Trek OCLV 800, and then again using TQ's HPR technology and their system uh, coming in at 3,900 grams allowed us to achieve that 26 pound target. So it's a, it's a fast, powerful uh, e-road bike, right? Right. That point can't be emphasized enough with this bike. You can get it to 28 miles an hour, along with it being super lightweight, is a critical aspect to the technology in this bike. 
Tim, one of the great things about the Damani Plus SLR is that it really does feel like a natural bike. You might forget you have an assist mode on because all three of the assist modes are so natural feeling. What, uh, what does it come set up with right out of the box? Yeah, so the Damani Plus SLR comes set up with eco mid-high right out of the box, high offering up to 50 newton meters of torque or around 300 watts of assist. Um, and then you actually have the ability to tune those uh, settings based on your preferences. So you can tune the settings. Uh, let's say I live at the bottom of a steep hill. Is there something I could do to tune the bike to, to make it easier just to get going first thing in the morning? Yeah, so the, it, the system actually offers a lot of flexibility. So you can tune um, your max amount of power that the system offers you. So a couple of scenarios that you might consider there are I want to get from point A, point A to point B as quick as possible. Um, and then another way to do that is, you know, you can plan a route out such that you want to do a 100 to 125 mile ride. You'd tune your, in this case, it would be probably eco mode where you can achieve that route and distance with power in the system to complete that ride. So once I'm on the road, I've got my phone in my back pocket, I'm not tuning anymore. How do I keep track of you know, how my battery's doing, speed cadence, all that stuff? Yep, so a user can uh, look at the display that's integrated on their top tube. So you can get uh, range, battery life, and then speed as well, directly from there if someone wants to glance down and look at it. Nice, so all that information is right there in plain sight. And another thing I really like about the design that Trek has come up with is the mode buttons that are integrated into the shifters. I, I think these are great and intuitive to use. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you can keep your hands on the hoods the, the entire time. It's just like shifting a, a front or rear derailleur. Um, you just use your thumb in this case to change between the various modes and to actually turn the assist off. Um, my personal experience, the first time I was on that, it was a big game changer for me. It had gone from a center section mode change, whereas now it just feels more natural to be on the outsides of the hoods where you can just change your, your assist. So Tim, the Damani Plus SLR, it has the look, the fit, the feel of an acoustic road bike. What does it sound like out on the road? Yeah, so the Damani Plus is super quiet. The wind essentially cancels out any noise that comes from the bike. Um, you know, customers that are looking for that experience where, you know, if they're riding in a group ride and they don't want to be noticed or um, they want to be more discreet, this is the bike for them. So the, the rider, the consumer is going to not notice the noise of the, the whole system. On the engineering side, how do you measure these things? How do you, how do you quantify what's happening there? Yeah, so we took uh, the TQ system to an anechoic chamber where we validated um, all the noises that come from the system. So we determined that the, the bike is about one and a half to two times as quiet compared to our previous e-road bikes. It's also less distracting. We quantify that through tonality units, which is essentially a measure of how distracting certain sounds are to human ears. With even more information about the new TQ assist system in the Domani Plus SLR, we'll turn now to our experts from TQ. Hi, I'm Danny, product manager here at TQ, and today I'm excited to give you a deeper insight into our new TQ HBR50 e-bike system, integrated in the latest Trek Domani Plus SLR, the lightest, smallest and quietest e-bike system in its category. TQ's heritage in aerospace and robotics and more than 25 years of experience in electronics design enabled us to create the best possible combination of innovative technologies seamlessly integrated into the next generation of e-bikes, which ride, feel and look like acoustic bikes, just like this track. Combined with our passion for cycling, which runs through the whole team from production to engineering, we have the perfect mix of tech nerds and bike enthusiasts. These two components allow us to place the needs of cyclists into the soul of our work. Our innovative TQ HBR50 e-bike system consists of the HBR50 drive unit moved by our patented harmonic pin ring transmission, which is the heart of the whole system. Natural 50 newton meters and 300 watts of peak power 
will provide the right push to get you over steep and long climbs, while never feeling disturbing or overpowering. That, complemented by a 360 watt hour battery and two inch fully integrated display, we have created the lightest e-bike system, weighing in at just 3,900 grams. We believe that the principle of less is more doesn't just ring true when it comes to size, weight and noise, but also when it comes to user friendliness. That's why the system features three ride modes. The only three ride modes you really need, fully customizable through the Trek Central app. We provide the technology, but you decide how you want to ride it. You can already find a lot of useful information about the drive system on our website. But today I would like to take some time and give you a deeper insight into our harmonic pin ring transmission. I will explain how it works and how we were able to create our unparalleled natural ride feel. Creating a natural ride feel is not about single factors, numbers, weight or noise. It's a combination of everything, perfectly tied together by a software which allows for seamless communication between components and the rider. You will feel like you are riding on the fittest day of your life and forget that you're sitting on an e-bike altogether. Our harmonic pin ring transmission, or as we call it HPR, is a result of TQ's decade-long experience in engineering of electric motors devolved for robots, satellites, space stations or Mars rovers. By advancing the development of our HBR technology, we are able to design a transmission that has virtually no lag in engagement and allows for a seamless and noiseless e-bike system integration. The TQ HBR50 drive unit itself weighs in at only 1,850 grams and has a bottom bracket width of mere 135 millimeters allowing for a Q factor similar to acoustic bikes, creating a natural feeling when pedaling up your favorite climb. Thanks to the integrated freewheel and drag-free internal components, an HBR50 equipped e-bike pedals like an analog bike when the drive unit is disengaged or switched off. In essence, our patented harmonic pin ring transmission allows us to create a natural ride feel, silent system, and a seamlessly engaging and powerful drive unit that's the quietest and lightest in its class. With the e-bike rider's comfort, usability and of course the fun factor in mind, it's cycling, but better. And in case you didn't know, TQ stands for Technologie in Qualität, simply translated to English, technology in quality. And that is the baseline for everything we do. Tim, we talked already about how the Trek Central app will let you tune the bike so you can get the best range or most performance out of it. But if I want to go for a really long ride or maybe just keep it in turbo all day long, there's an additional optional range extender battery, right? Yep. Trek offers that, that range extender option um, that allows customers to achieve about a 40% increase in their range. Um, for the factory setting tune that Trek offers, that's around 90 miles. Um, however, that you know, through the Trek Central app, customers you have the ability to extend that distance as they desire. And it's a really discreet battery too. It just fits in a water bottle cage, doesn't it? Right, yep. Any standard water bottle cage. However, Trek does recommend a, a right side load mount. Just simplifies the installation process. And then uh, there's also another cable management piece and a retention strap that really cleans up the look and just adds additional security to it as well. And as far as charging, uh, do you charge the bike separately from the range extender or is it a complete system? Yeah, so you could charge them separately if you, if you desire. However, um, you do have the ability to charge both batteries with one connection. The battery, it's in the, the bottle cage, still pretty lightweight though, right? Still lightweight. Uh, it's around a 26 ounce water bottle is the, the weight of the, of the system itself. Um, that comes around 950 grams. Great. So you take that awesome e-system and then you 
build it into a Damani SLR, so that's really the ride experience you get. Yeah, and we just launched new Damani SL and SLR, and this bike shares almost all the same features as those new platforms too. We can start maybe with a new ISO speed system. It's non-adjustable top tube ISO speed. And ISO speed in general just is a way for us to be able to isolate the seat post from the rest of the frame to provide more rear compliance to the bike. Um, it's our lightest weight system that we've had back there and still provides an amazing compliant experience. Um, on top of that, you get some of the other features that we've leveraged on Damani. First, our highest performing carbon. So one of the reasons that the bike is so lightweight is the fact that we're using OCLV 800 actually for the first time in an e-bike. And so we're able to cleave a ton of weight off of just doing laminate optimization and using our highest performing material on this platform. Yeah, and then it's it's the endurance geometry, so you get the stability, the kind of the all-day comfort that you'd expect out of a normal Damani as well. Yeah, and especially when you pair that with ISO speed, providing just a super compliant, uh, comfortable ride is definitely something that any e-bike rider is going to benefit from. Yeah, and I know we're seeing it on the new Damani models as well, but talk for a minute about that super clean front end. Yeah, it's what we're calling RCS cockpit, and it is the exact same stem that's, again, leveraged on the Domani, standard Domani platforms. RCS is just a really simple way of integrating the cables and providing a really clean, integrated look, but it's also compatible with all standard 31.8 bars. So if you want to be able to change out your handlebar, super easy to be able to swap to whatever your preferred shape is. Um, it should also be noted that with that RCS stem, there's two, there's a lot of different lengths, but there's also two different heights. So there's a minus seven and plus seven degree fit. And again, a huge range of lengths um, to be able to provide a fit for sort of any rider uh, in any position that you may want to achieve on the bike. Yeah, so I spend a lot of time in bike shops and I know the bike shop crowd will love to hear that. And the other question they will ask me immediately is what's the tire clearance? Yeah, I, for sure that's a popular question. Um, and that's one of the differentiators between this and the standard Damani uh, is the fact that we actually have more tire clearance on the e-bike. It goes up to 40 millimeter tire clearance and it should be noted that that's Trek 40 millimeter tire clearance, which means that there's six millimeters of clearance all the way around the perimeter of a 40 millimeter tire. So we recommend a max of 40 millimeter to put on there. That's what we spec on some of the bikes, but you can sort of project how big of a tire you might actually be able to fit on the bike um, given what our clearance Clearances are. Yeah, uh, and then uh, fender compatibility? Fender compatibility, you can put full fenders on there. It's hidden fender mounts, similar system to what we used actually the last two generations of Damani 2. So for commuting, especially if you want to stay dry or some of those Northern European climates, uh, you, can, yeah, you can keep your butt dry um, <laughs> with that full, full fender. Nice. And then what are the different spec options that we're offering? Uh, we're actually doing sort of two different spec concepts with a, with a bike, depending on if it's a Shimano bike or SRAM bike. So all the Shimano bikes come with two by drivetrain. So it has a uh, compact two by front chainring and front derailleur on it. And then it uses 32 millimeter tubeless tires. So if you want that performance road experience, the Shimano drivetrains uh, and that 32 millimeter tire really help you there. Um, or on the, the SRAM side of things, we're specking all of those as one by SRAM Explorer drivetrains. So still a huge gear range, but just a one by drivetrain and those come with GR1 40 millimeter gravel tires on it. So if you want a little bit more versatility, you want to do some exploring onto uh, some gravel roads, then that SRAM uh, group set and spec option is really your perfect solution. That's really cool. So we've got options for both riders just right out of the box. Yeah, for sure. And that just sort of shows the versatility of the platform as a whole. Awesome. All right, so that's the new premium product, the Damani Plus SLR. But on the same day, we're also launching the Damani Plus AL? Yeah, so just like we talk about Damani Plus SLR being our highest performing e-road bike we've ever made, the Damani Plus AL is really our highest value e-road bike that we've ever made, uh, and it's equally awesome for the value reason. Yeah, so let's uh, just get into some details. So AL means aluminum. Yeah, Demine Plus AL leverages Alpha 100 series aluminum. And despite the fact that it's uh, an aluminum platform, it's still around 30 pounds for the complete bike. So oh, still wow. super lightweight. Yeah, uh, and hub drive motor? Hub drive motor, it shares the same E-system as FX Plus and DS Plus. So it's a hub drive motor that's limited to 20 miles per hour, 250 watt hour into battery, and then the same integrated display that we're using on those other two bikes. Okay, and what's the range that we'd expect to get out of that? Interestingly, the range on Domani Plus AL is also about 60 miles. So um, the reason that it's similar to the Domani Plus SLR is the fact that it's a lower speed bike and it's a slightly lower power system. And so you're able to get more range out of that. So it's about 60 miles with the Intube battery. And then there's also an optional uh, range extender system that's another 250 watt hours, which sort of doubles your range. So you should expect to see even over 100 miles of total range on the bike. 
That's awesome. And then it's still a Domani. It's still a Domani. And so it shares all the same features that all of our Domani's are. So Domani AL, the standard platform, um, uses same endurance geometry, has uh, accommodations for racks and fenders, tire cleaners for up to 38 millimeters. So we really talk about Domani as a family of being a super versatile, comfortable platform. And this really nails that. Okay, so we've got SLR, that really premium experience. And then for people who are on a tighter budget, that AL is still going to pack a, a really awesome ride. Yeah, and it, I mean, it still is a really great product for sort of the same reasons that Demani Plus SLR are for all those same rides. Whether you just want to ride a little bit further and get that extra assist, if you want to ride with your buddies and be able to get a little bit of help, or if you're commuting, um, all those same scenarios still are at play for Demani Plus AL. It's just in a lot more uh, economical package. That's really cool.